Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of Bihar to Bangalore series. In this video we will be covering day 2 and day 3. So on day 2 we started from Kharagpur and covered till Puri which is in Orissa and on day 3 we stayed back there to explore the place. So now this will be an interesting video to watch hence requesting you all to watch it till the end to explore the journey along with us. So we started at 8 a.m. from Kharagpur and we did not have breakfast in the hotel so we thought of having it on the way. The day we traveled the weather was pleasant and sunny and we were ready to cover 389 km because that's the distance um, from Kharagpur to Puri and also Puri is a beach destination so we were very excited to visit the place. So around 10 a.m. we stopped for breakfast. We saw a hotel uh, serving dosa, so we were excited to try it. Mm, लेकिन honestly it was an epic fail. Uh, the taste बहुत ही वाहियात था वहाँ पे and uh, thankfully we ordered uh, just one. So we finished it somehow and started our journey again. So this place is uh, Barikpur in Orissa and from here uh, Puri was another 171 kilometers and suddenly we saw that the other side of the highway was closed because uh, construction chalu tha aur isse liye single lane hai jiske wajah se yahan pe almost 1 hour ke jam mein hum log uh, fas gaye the that consumed a lot of time तो एक घंटा जैम में फंसने के बाद वी गॉट लिटिल हंगरी अगेन एंड वी स्टॉप्ड अगेन अराउंड 11:50 फिफ्टी एम फॉर सेकेंड टाइम ब्रेकफास्ट एंड वी हैड सम कचौड़ी एंड छोले आई मस्ट से ओवर हियर द टेस्ट वॉज टेन आउट ऑफ टेन इट वॉज सो डेलिशियस आफ्टर हैविंग दैट वी स्टार्टेड द जर्नी अगेन एंड स्टार्टेड टू एन्जॉय द व्यू So while you're watching this video, I thought of sharing this with you. Now, if you have watched the previous episodes, you know that uh, from Bangalore to Bihar or from Bihar to Bangalore, we were traveling via road, and the uh, total distance we covered was approx 4,800 kilometers. Uh, so, thought of sharing this with you. Ki, dekhiye, traveling such long distances via road is not 100% easy. Okay. Yes, it does depend a lot on road conditions, but also another important point is your health check. Ideally, if two people are traveling and both uh, share the drive, it becomes a lot easier because then you load share करते हो. But uh, in our case, Pranav was the only one who was driving, and he covered the entire 4,800 kilometers all by himself. Because I know very less of driving, and I have never uh, driven before in highways, so I was not that confident. Now, being a co-passenger, also it is very important that you stay awake all the time. You cannot take that job very easy, okay? Because being a co-passenger, if you uh, relax all the time and if you are sleepy, that actually makes the other person who is in the driving seat sleepy at times. So you have to be very, very careful if you being a co-passenger. Now, let me talk from the perspective of the car. Uh, we have Hyundai Creta. and uh, this car have been a uh, great to us because honestly like 90% of the time we did not feel much of body ache but at times you know when you are traveling f- at a stretch for for long distance your feet and your head goes numb and that is when uh, you try to uh, stop and take few pit stops 
but trust me don't make it a habit that you take lot of pit stops if you take lot of pit stops that is when you consume a lot of time and me and pranab always try to reach our destinations before 10 pm or 9 pm because we just don't like driving uh, late night so we try to reach our destinations before 9 or 10 pm um but yeah what i'll do is i'll try to make a separate video about this do's and don'ts so that it can help you in future if you're planning to travel uh, long trips So let me tell you uh, from Kharagpur until now we have almost uh, covered 5 uh, to 6 hours and uh, honestly most of the area we have found single lanes but the road conditions have been great uh, due to single lane it is time consuming but you know what you won't regret taking the decision of traveling such uh, such long distance because the road conditions have been great So this is the hotel I was talking about Nana Hotel we were already full because as you saw we had breakfast twice so we just uh, ordered one plate of uh, non veg for both of us um, apart from uh, the mutton curry they also gave us some uh, veg stuff as well like alu chokha dal uh, salad but if you at all take the decision to come here the taste is what i can say 20 out of 10 it was that great Now this place if you are seeing this place is called Pahala. So Pahala is uh, famous for sweets and mainly for rasgullas. If you see there are multiple sweet uh, shops at a stretch and we had some uh, hot freshly made rasgullas which were like yum. Uh, so if you take this route stop at Pahala Pahala and have freshly made soft rasgullas. Yeah it reminded me of Kolkata but um, yeah I we just had them and started our journey towards Puri So the time was around 4:40 and we were entering Puri. Now if you don't know about Puri let me tell you uh, briefly about the place. Uh, so Puri is world famous for Sri Jagannath temple and for beach. Uh, it is one of the dhams out of four dhams like Dwarka, Badrinath and Rameshwar in India. So Puri is a very famous place. and as i keep saying if you are taking this uh, route you can definitely take a detour and uh, stay at this place for a day and you can enjoy this particular place so in puri we checked into uh, this hotel uh, named chanakya hotel and uh, then uh, we ended our day too So here we start our day 3 uh, around um, 6:30 or 7 we went to Sri Jagannath uh, temple we did not take our car because we were not sure about the parking so we took a, a rickshaw there inside the uh, temple photography or videography was not allowed so we did not uh, take any videos over there So as I was telling a day 3 we stayed back in Puri to explore the place so we decided to go to Konark temple So from our hotel a Konark temple was just like around 36 km
So this is the entrance of uh, Konark Sun Temple. Now let me tell you briefly about the temple. So Konark Sun Temple was uh, built back in 13th century and it is dedicated to sun god Surya. So this temple is designed as a chariot consisting of 24 wheels, uh, 12 on each side and you must have studied in history that these wheels uh, back then was uh, used as uh, sundials to tell the time. It's a beautiful archaeological place. If you come here, trust me, you will find inner peace and the place is so well maintained. तो सन टेंपल पे हम लोग एक या दो घंटे रहने के बाद फिर हम लोग निकल गए वहाँ से और फिर सोचे कि let us go towards the beach side क्योंकि पुरी में बहुत फेमस गुजिया मिलता है तो हम लोग ने सोचा कि बीच के साइड में हम लोग ने एक पार्किंग प्लेस देखा था तो वहाँ पे कार पार्क करके एक रिक्शा लेके हम लोग जाएंगे थोड़ा ये स्वीट्स खरीदने फ� तो वहाँ पे हम लोगों ने देखा कि जलेबी भी मिल रहा था तो we had that because we did not have lunch that day so we had some local food and in the evening we thought of going to the beach side again so we visited a puri beach again we had some local food like jhalmuri and egg roll and that's how we ended our day three if you have liked anything about this video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And thank you very much for watching. We'll come back with day 4. Thank you.